Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about sheet metal. So I am taking a sample exam of sheet metal. So the diagram is given here. So let's start. So first of all you have to activate the sheet metal feature. And now we are going to create sketch. So first of all draw a rectangle from the origin. Now defining its dimension as given in question number 1. Its length is 180 mm and defining its width is 100 mm. Now again click on rectangle and draw a rectangle again. Defining its dimension from the edge side is 30 mm and the bottom size 30 mm. Now its total width is 20 mm and height of 40 mm. Now we are going to apply sketch chamfer. So select select chamfer and select edge. Defining its width from the both side is 5 mm and 2.50 mm. Now again click on chamfer and select second edge and changing its length is 2.50 and 5 mm. Now select the four edges and click on OK. Now defining its length from the edge remaining from the chamfer is 13 mm and 15 mm now your sketch is now fully defined and click on sheet metal and select base flange so here you have defined its thickness so click in the column and enter the value So it's 1.20 mm. You can change its direction and applying factor. The scale factor having value 0.5 as given in question. Now click on OK. So now your base is ready. Now click on edge flange and select corner and define the direction of flange. And upward direction. So the angle is required is 90 degree. So keep it as given in. And now define its height is 50 mm and applying its uh, fillet now you have number of feature given here is uh, that is flank position you can make it inner virtual sharp or outer virtual sharp or select inside material or outside material as per the requirement and click on trim side bends allow so now again click on flange edge and select the edges and define the direction of flange in the both side now and defining its uh, width and angle
now defining its total width is 15 mm and changing its bending radius is 1 mm now defining the gap between both the flanges is 0 0.50 mm you can change its value for example I am entering here 5 mm so you can see here the gap is 5 mm as per the question we uh, enter the value 0 0.5 now the flanges are ready now choose any phase and keep it normal direction now I am going to draw a sketch on it so click on sketch and select circle command and draw a circle click on smart dimension and define its diameter is 4 mm and select all these circles and make it equal now defining the distance of the circle from the edge is 50 mm and from the bottom side is 9 mm now defining its height from the top is 10 mm both the circles have same dimensions from the top edge now your sketch is fully defined so click on sheet metal and extrude it cut select up to surface or through wall select the surface and click on ok the whole are produced on the sheet so now I am going to editing its material so click on material and select aluminium alloy and select 1060 and click on apply and ok Now I am going to apply appearance on it. So select on appearance and select body and select the color and click OK. The color is applied on the whole body. now I am going to create a new configuration from that same part so the configuration basically are used to create a number of part in a same file having same features so I am giving its configuration number 2 and question number 2 so two part having same configuration I have created now so now coming on question number 2 I am going to changing its dimensions this is 200 mm and select from this configuration as given in question now changing its width is 110 mm and select this configuration so the changes apply only question number two configuration and the last one is remaining same so you can here see the size is increases 
now changing its edge flank dimensions. So changing flange length is 40 mm and select this configuration. If you select all configuration then the changes occur in both the body in configuration 1 and 2. So in which you want to change the dimension select the configuration. Click here and select this configuration. And OK. So now you can check in the configuration the size changes. The first one is default and the second one is number 2. So you can check dimension. This is the first configuration and you can check the second one also. Its size is 200 by 110. So two different parts created with the help of one single part by using the configuration method. Now I am going to unfold the metal. So select the base part and click on collect bands. So this is the total area which is required to cut. Now fold, select the face and click on collect bands. 